What quote hangs on your wall? Welcome to Goal Getting Quote of the Day. I'm Tony Woodall, your host, and I will share with you a great quote I've heard, read, or that's been shared by one of my guests on Goal Getting Podcast Weekly Show, where I ask, what quote hangs on your wall? Thanks for listening, folks, and I really appreciate it. Hello, Goal Getters. This is your host, and I am happy to be here today. Today's quote is from Arnold Bennett. The chief beauty about time is that you cannot waste it in advance. The next year, the next day, the next hour are lying ready for you, as perfect, as unspoiled, as if you had never wasted or misapplied a single moment in all your life. You can turn over a new leaf every hour if you choose. Hey, goal getters, I'm coming to you remote from Atlanta, Georgia, where I'm spending Christmas holiday with my family, having a great time. This quote, speaking of time, is just a wonderful quote. Uh, time, we only have so much of it, and we often waste it. And I love this quote because it reminds me that even though I may waste time, I cannot waste it in advance. Every moment ahead in my life is new. The next minute, the next hour, the next day, the next year. I may not have achieved all of the goals I set this year. I may not have completed every task I set forth. And I may have wasted the time I've lived doing, thinking, or being something that didn't get me to where I want to be. But I have a choice of what the rest of the time ahead will be. Every moment ahead is a new beginning, a perfect, unspoiled moment. What I choose to do with that new time is up to me. What am I going to do to myself to move me in the direction I want to go? What am I going to do to begin each moment of time ahead to achieve my goals? Each moment in time, each hour, each week, each day, each year ahead of me is fresh. What am I going to do to choose with, to do with that time? What action steps am I going to do as I work on my goals? My time is just beginning. I am going to choose to be what I want to be, to do what I need to do, to live my new time as I defined it. So go out today and be you in your new time. Goal getters, I appreciate you listening to the show today. You know I want to help you get the goals that you set. I want to you know, help you achieve what you want. And do you want to achieve your goals? Do you want to walk your own path and go where no one else has ever been? Does your subconscious mind play goalie for the other team, blocking your goals and dreams? Well, you can change your mind and make it play for your team. I put together my goal achievement success system to help you do that. The Mental Bank program is just a part of this system, and I discuss the Mental Bank concept in these three episodes. And episode 31 is titled, Is This What You Struggle With?, where I discuss the subconscious mind, how it works, and what you need to know about how to change your subconscious mind. Episode 35 is entitled, Is Your Mind Killing Your Dreams? Six Steps to Stop It Now. Your mind may be controlling and killing your dreams, whether you know it or not. I'm going to give you six steps in episode 35 to help you stop it from doing that. And in episode 36, I talked about success is not an accident. Take that to the bank, where I discussed the mental bank program, the steps to follow to do that, and the tools to use. Now, using the mental bank program and the three keys to successful goal setting, and you will have the best year of your life. You will change your subconscious mind into the goal-getting machine it was designed to be. So pick up your copy of the Mental Bank Ledger, which we discuss in episode 36, so that you can use it to reset your subconscious mind to work for your team. You can get your copy of the Mental Bank Ledger at goalgettingpodcast.com forward slash MBL. The Mental Bank Ledger, along with the lessons taught in the Goal Getting Podcast episodes 34, 35, and 36, will help you get the goals you set. So contact me if you have any questions after listening to these episodes. I'd also love to hear your thoughts on this episode, especially since I'm doing it remote. I'd love to let you know or let me know what you think of it. So please go to our show notes page at goalgettingpodcast.com forward slash QOD166 
and give me your feedback in the comments section. I would really appreciate it. If you like this episode and others, please let your family and friends know. And I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas as we get to Christmas Day today. So I appreciate it. I am enjoying it with my family. I hope you're having a great holiday, whether it's Christmas, Hanukkah, or whatever. I hope you enjoy it and, you know, take advantage of the time to spend it with family and friends and, you know, and share the love with them. So have a great Christmas, great holidays, happy new year. We'll talk more about the new years going forward. And I want to, again, thank you for listening to Goal Getting Podcast Quote of the Day. As you know, we're going to be changing our structure as we end season one at the end of the year of our Goal Getting Podcast. And we'll be going to season two on February 25th of 2016. I will be continuing the quote of the day on Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday so that you can still catch our exciting and inspiring Goal Getting Quote of the Day episode. So thank you so much. Have a great day. Go out and make it a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.